Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we are not really unboxing a physical product, rather we're unboxing a feature of a software. And I will be talking about ShapeSpark and they have sponsored this video. ShapeSpark is a software that I have introduced on this channel before. It offers real-time rendering in your browser, allowing any computer, tablet, and smartphones to view your model and do walkthroughs. So please be sure to check out my previous video on ShapeSpark if you haven't already. I'll leave a link in the description as well as the link over here. And I will also leave a link for their webpage so you guys could check out more details about their product. And in a simple term, ShapeSpark allows you to share your designs, the walkthrough real-time rendering experience via one single link. So it has been quite easy to share your designs, but with a recent update, the feature was added to make that even better. And I think because we are all working remotely from home, this really adds value and functionality to your workflow. ShapeSpark is calling this feature as 3D Meetings, and it is a brand new feature that has been added, and you can see the new tag next to the name of it. Normally, ShapeSpark generates a link, and you're gonna have to share that specific link to your client or colleagues via email or whatever the chatting app that you are using, and ask them to join the session so you guys are seeing sort of the same thing. However, with this app, you don't really need to jump into a different conferencing app or chat app. You can basically hold a virtual meeting inside the space that you have prepared for and ask them to join into that session without the separate conferencing or the chatting app. So as the client receives this specific link, they will be able to click on that or paste into their choice of browser and then they can just join into the session. And this is a normal ShapeSpark real-time rendering experience so you can click on the area to just kind of move around and all of this is fully rendered experience. However, you'll see the dialogue that is in the center of the screen that asks you for the name and how you are going to join the session. Here I have microphone and camera set up. So join 3D meeting. And as I join, my camera is going to show up and obviously it is not exposed correctly. Change the webcam a little bit. And as you have joined the session, you'll see that that voice and camera are activated and you can also see yourself on the bottom left hand corner. And if you're already familiar with the ShapeSparks function and its experience, all the functions are basically the same. You can click on this question mark here. It tells you the basic controls. So with the mouse, left mouse button, you can move left and right and look up and down. With the scroll wheel, you can walk front and back as well. And with the keyboard, you can do arrow keys or if you're used to WASD like myself, I can just move around with that. Or if you are on different devices, you can also tap on certain area to teleport. You can also go to advanced and there are a couple more functions that are available. I find all of these controls to be quite intuitive and I have no problem navigating around since this is all snappy and something that I'm very used to. And you might also have noticed that there is a gearbox here. I can click on that and the bubbles will show up. As I click on that one there, everything is gonna turn into wood. And then here is granite and then polished concrete type of material. So you can basically change the material on the fly so you can see how it impacts the space and you can carry on the discussion, which is quite useful. And there are more bubbles are available in this scene here. So if I were to walk up here and then click on this button here, and basically it takes me to this specific Instagram page where it holds more detail for that specific picture frame. So you can basically embed uh, URLs or links or further details of a specific type of thing that you are utilizing inside of your scene. And now I am currently quite lonely in this session so let me go ahead and use different device to join the same exact session. So with my phone right here, I'm just gonna turn on the browser and then basically click on the same link that I have shared. And now you can see that I have joined the same session. It 
is enabling the camera as well as we are seeing the same scene. It is actually picking up the sound. So let me go ahead and disable the voice. And actually on the computer, you might have noticed there is a purple blob that has appeared here and it says phone over there. Let me turn around on the phone. There you can see my face <laughs> and I can just walk up a little bit closer and on my phone, it is showing up my computer webcam as well. So we can kind of all join together and look at each other if we want to. And obviously you can continue the chat on voice as well. Let me join the session with my laptop as well. So now I have another person and that showed up and you can see that I have joined the session and it is showing up everywhere. So there's three Joseph Kim at the moment. So for example, for the sofa, I can go ahead and click on this hand button right here and notice how there is a little bubble that's showing up next to the sofa as I click on the scene. So we can all just kind of look at, hey, look at this sofa that I'm talking about. Shall we change this or move it somewhere else since it is working or it is not working? We can carry on that sort of discussion. If I were to pick up my phone, and then do the touch function and then say, hey, can we talk about the one that is right of that? And I am also picking that up on my on my desktop as well. I'm kind of getting confused between all the devices, but you get my point. So let me go ahead and move on to the different part of the model and perhaps point to other people. Hey, can you guys come and look at this specific area? So this guy over here, is going to turn around and then perhaps move a little bit closer. He is also looking at this area. Let me go ahead and back out a little bit and also the phone. So we can all discuss about this specific area over here. And some of you might have noticed that there is a giant TV without showing any content here with a suspicious button underneath it. And I think this feature is really, really cool. So as you click on it, I'm able to share. And in this case, I'm gonna choose this screen so I can share. And you can see how it is starting to share that screen on a TV. It is really cool how you're just able to share one of your screen onto the screen inside of the virtual environment. So if there is a product or detail or specific model that you wanna share your screen of, then you can just ask them to gather around so you can show it on this virtual environment. It's a basically a big fat presentation screen inside of your virtual environment. And the fact that there is a shadow that is going across and you're seeing this screen as if it is really there. And I think it's incredible what is able to offer to you. And if you were to walk around the space, you will see another screen right here. I'm able to do the same exact thing here, as well as if I were to go over there, there's another button here that shows as a TV monitor. Although there's no TV, I can click on that and the screen will pop up. So with this 3D meetings, you're basically able to walk your client and hold the virtual meeting inside of the space that you have designed. They're still kind of chit-chatting on the background there. Let's say this specific meeting was to discuss the floor finish material and you can go ahead and click on the gearbox and show them different sort of finishes that are available for the scene. The client is able to see the different finishes. So you can all discuss about the pros and cons of specific finish that's gonna go in the space. So for wood, it is much warmer tone. However, you may have this sort of look and then with the granite, it's much cooler. However, you're gonna have a lot of gloss and then with the concrete, you may get a mix of two. So you can discuss about these things and make an important decision. And in this case, I'm able to present all three different materials to client Joseph and Joseph decided that he wants wood finish in this specific space and it's an easy choice as they can just simply see the space with all the contacts. And I am sure client Joseph found this to be quite intuitive, useful, and easy. And quite frankly, I think they would have enjoyed this session as well. So on that note, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I hope you also have enjoyed this content. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.